Hi right, guys, this is just going to be a really, really quick video. Um, just a quick update and, and, and give everybody a big thank you for all your support. Um, as you're all probably aware, so uh, those in the know uh, are already aware that um, yesterday, my section five, um, I got a nut gilly. Um, so yeah, really, really good outcome for us there. Um, Susan Atkinson and Danny Pittman came to court and testified against me to say that it was so alarmed and distressed by somebody filming in public. <laughs> An absolute joke, really. Um, yeah, it, it was a complete joke. Um, you know, and the judge saw that. Judges, all three of them, there were three of them, three magistrates all there um, at the end said, we understand you have every right to be there and it's perfectly legal for you doing what you was doing. And we understand the ACPO guidance um, and we understand and acknowledge the Human Rights Act, Article 19 as well. So they acknowledged all of that and they said that it's fine. Um, the thing that they was having um, issues with was the the wording in the law in the wording of the section five public order is intent whether i intended to go out and cause them alarm and distress that's the thing that was the the gray area if you like there's a new that I was allowed there to do what i was doing and anyway we got the outcome we wanted and we got a not guilty so this isn't the end guys it really isn't this is just the beginning now we have the civil actions coming against these three companies, which is Cumbria Constabulary, Crown Prosecution Service, and also um, Carlisle City Council. So they're all going to get civil cases uh, coming towards them. I have rung them today and, and offered them an out of court settlement and said, you know, if you want to make an out of court settlement, um, you have seven days. Um, to get back to me and, and we'll get together and we'll we'll make an out, out of court settlement if not civil proceedings will be brought um, for malicious prosecution assault battery false imprisonment um, you know travel expenses interference with goods and the whole host of other things that you know I haven't written down um, anyway it was only going to be a short one uh, it ain't too bad, it's only a couple of minutes so far, um, but it'll take ages to go up um, as I'm back at home and my internet is so bad it's unreal. So once again, thank you everybody for your support and, 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 and the love and the appreciation you show me on the on the channel, it's really really good. Um, we'll be back out there, now this one's over and done with, there's no hanging over my head no more, so we're off, we'll be off, bang. I'm going to um, ask Santa for a new set of cameras. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. And we'll be off and we'll be out. And, um, and go try and do a walk up again. And um, it's the only local way I ain't done. Otherwise, I've got to travel, you know, an hour out of my way. Carlisle's like an hour and 20 minutes travel from where I'm at. Everywhere around here is done. The no of death. The police even cross over the road when... You know, when they see me coming, they're like, oh, God, it's spit shine. And off the go. <laughs> um, but, yeah, great stuff. Thank, once again, thanks for all your love and your support. Um, Ruth, you know who you are. Thank you. You're very, very generous. Um, it's fluke. You're, you're a man. Um, and, and everybody else in the community, they're just two of, uh, of a host of many, many people who have had my back all the way through this. Um, and, and love and respect to everybody thank you thank you thank you so so much um there's more to come be safe out there always know your rights and always film the poor poor because they'll have you over if you let them thanks guys